starting on August 2nd. Well, he was a suspect who could not be handcuffed. He slithered into an Albuquerque home, terrifying the couple inside. And this wasn't just any intruder. This was a snake and a pretty big one. As Nancy Laughlin reports, it was up to police officers to arrest him. How would you like to find something like this hanging out in your house? An Albuquerque couple doesn't have to imagine. An intruder, just like this guy, snuck in and scared the daylights out of them. I was so scared, but the only thing that I got the phone landline, and he went upstairs to talk to my husband. The woman lives in Holiday Park near El Dorado High School and doesn't want her face on camera. She told us and police she was afraid because her husband is in a wheelchair. She was concerned the snake would go after him, and she couldn't move her husband fast enough. The lady made a lot of noise, and that kind of freaked the snake out. Got like agitated somehow, just moving from one side of the house to the other. She called authorities, but it was more than an hour before animal control could get there. So Albuquerque police took charge, calming the couple and putting on a brave face. He hates snakes. Police put the snake in a plastic bin, snapped a couple of photos of their suspect, then took him out into open space, releasing him on his own recognizance. I don't think we have a policy for handcuffing snakes. But this guy was a bull snake, so snake experts say the scales of justice are on its side because bull snakes go after the bad guys. Having a bull snake on your property is extremely important because they are an animal that will keep rodents away as well as rattlesnakes because they are a natural predator of rattlesnakes. They say if one sneaks into your home, don't kill it. Don't keep it as a pet, but welcome it as a neighbor. Kind of a creepy neighbor. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. If you do find a snake in your house, you can call the city at 311. Well, the city of Albuquerque signed an agreement with private developers to save the historic rail